Hello, my name's Brett Little. I'm a Senior Land Service Officer Livestock with the Central Tablelands Local Land Services. Today I'm going to be talking about sheep. This time of year we've, we're really sort of heading into the period where people have got used staying to lamb or, or getting sort of in, over the next three months we'll have used lambing. It really is an important thing that you need to plan, think about and work through that we maximise the lamb survival that we've got. With the prices we're getting for sheep at the moment, the more lambs we get the better, better it is for us. So really do need to, to manage our animals. Ideal world, uh, particularly in the central tablelands, we need to think about weather effects and making sure that we've got good aspects. Uh, when I'm talking about aspect, I'm really talking about a northeast aspect is an ideal type of paddock. Also, paddocks that they've got a bit, bit more pasture in it, obviously for the nutritional requirements of the sheep, but also for giving a little bit of windbreak and a bit of protection for those lambs in those first few days while they're getting up and getting things going. Other things to consider, uh, mob size. We really know the mob size of our users really can have a big influence. Uh, size of the paddock can also have a big influence, but really the number of ewes in a paddock lambing at one time will really have a big influence on how successful they are at rearing that lamb, also the amount of mismothering that we get. Um, some other things to be aware of is the nutrition. Obviously we need to have adequate feed in there. When I'm talking about feed, I'm talking about roughly around about 1,500 kilograms dry matter of green per hectare as being the ideal. Uh, and to give you a ballpark, that's sort of a good five centimetres plus of green feed that we're looking for. Planning ahead, think about what's happened in the paddock in the past. Is it likely to have a large worm burden? That needs to be considered. Have I had cattle through? They act as a vacuum. They would have sucked up some of those worms. Um, also with, with our um, you know, sort of lambing ewes, it's important to look at the condition of those ewes. If you've got a big variation in the condition of the ewes of some of the ewes that we've scored here today, it might be worthwhile to look at drafting off those lower condition ewes and giving them a bit more care. We've also got singles and twins. We know that twin ewes really take a lot more nutrition. The nutritional requirements of those uh, twinning ewes just need that little bit extra. So a lot of the time it is advantageous to actually spit, split the singles off the twins and manage them, manage them well to maximise the amounts of lambs that we get rearing through to the weaning. So just a few tips for you here today. Good luck with it. Cheers.